and we're back. Although I've never left, it's the same day. Um, I'm filming a few today. I'm walking around aimlessly. Um, so we're at Richardson Public Library in fabulous Richardson, Texas for Old Bastard Freestyle Trick Tip number four, Endovers. Now, my friend Tony Gale has already got an Endover trick tip up on uh, his site, his new site, freestyletricktips.com. It is a detailed and vastly superior tip to what I'm about to do, um, but I wanted to mention a few things that I thought you older guys would appreciate. Um, Tony's really walks you through the bare basics of doing endovers. So I'm just going to let him do that. I'm directing you to his site to look at that. Uh, one thing I just wanted to point out about endovers is he points out there's two directions. Um, you know, you've got front side and back side equivalents for endovers. You need to learn both of them, as Tony says. An interesting thing when you watch his video is that uh, at one point he does some really fast ones and he gains a ton of speed. And that is something I wanted to tell you guys about. Endovers, a quick endover or two, are a great way to pick up speed. Um, that motion of slinging your body around a couple of times, it really, really adds some momentum to your roll. And it's great in a freestyle run because you may not want to put your foot down. You may be like old school, like, man, I'm not going to put my foot on the ground. I'm not going to push. It's the way I am. I, I hate taking a push, even though that's ridiculous. So um, a couple of endovers are really a, a good alternative to doing Tic Tacs. Tic Tacs are fine, but you know they look a little bit childish. But a couple of endovers, like, oh, this guy's got his shit together, right? OK, here we go. One more thing. I don't know why I keep forgetting to do these on the big board, but I do. I'm going to do some on the uh, fickle knucklehead, the 9 inch wide street board with a 14.75 inch wheelbase. Okay, here they come. Okay, my advice for using a big board. Um, so it's definitely harder to do endovers or any footwork on a longer wheelbase. Um, my freestyle board's wheelbase is 13.75. That is really long for freestyle board. Um, most are more like around 13.25 down to 12. There are advantages for pure freestyle for having it having the, the wheelbase that's small um, makes it a lot easier to reach the ends of the board um, so when you're doing endovers and you know, the wider you have to have your feet uh, the more difficult the trick is because you're in a less natural position when you have your feet spread to the nose and tail there's just no two ways about it um, so that's a that's a big difference um, a positive difference, I think. Um, I really like doing them on a big board. Um, the knucklehead is a big board. Um, it has heft to it. And when I when I bring the the wheels around for each part of the end over, it has a really nice flow about it. It may not look great. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't watched the video yet, but it feels really good. So um, yeah. 
adding a little wheelbase to me it can in, improve your flow a little bit at the uh, cost of making things a little more difficult maybe a little bit more clunky I don't know it may make it more stylish depends on your point of view um, also loose trucks um, I have pretty loose trucks on the knucklehead that doesn't help it doesn't help in pulling off the endovers but I do think it adds a nice turning carving element to them so and I can feel that when I'm doing it so if you're you know, if you're doing this on a street board, a board with a wheelbase over 14, closer to 15, don't give up on it because um, when you get it, it's going to be really nice. And uh, I, I have blabbered on and on about this, just like Tony did when he was doing his trick tip. He said it was a lot harder to explain than he thought. Um, so I think that's about it. Do them both directions. Um, bend your knees don't stand with your legs straight that is a recipe for disaster and uh, I think you can probably tell I, I sort of do them in those little groups of two like back backwards forwards and I roll a little bit and backwards forwards right voop, 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 voop. <laughs> and uh, it is nice I think it's nicer to let let it roll just a little bit um, between the turns but if you want to do a bunch of them and you don't have a lot of room as is the case where I am I don't let it roll quite as much start them at a medium speed medium for freestyle being slow for everything else you don't want to, I, I wouldn't start them from a, a dead stop but uh, start them rolling forward watch Tony's tip and I'm blabbering now stop by